The following program is seen statewide on California Public Television. California's Green is supported by Edison International. Californians are getting to be old hands at year-round energy conservation, part of our special awareness of the resources we all depend on. We're making the change to energy-efficient light bulbs, keeping warm-weather thermostats set to a comfortable 78 degrees, and giving major appliances the afternoon off. Because when it comes to energy conservation, it all adds up. Life, powered by Edison. Well, hello everybody, I'm Hugh Hauser, and what we have here is a smelly situation. I better introduce my co-host right off the bat. Your name is? Nikki Rodoni with Gill's Onions. Gill's Onions, and you know what? We didn't even need directions to get here. All we had to do was roll down the window and smell. That's right. This is a good smell, though. This is a good California agriculture smell. Now these onions are from? These onions are coming from the Imperial Valley. Down in Imperial County in the extreme southern part of the state. That is correct. But you told us that if we'd been here just a couple of weeks later, the onions would be coming in from? San Joaquin. From the San Joaquin Valley. That so is you correct. get onions from all over California, but the important thing is all of these onions, and there are thousands and thousands of these big bins filled with onions, are good old California smelly onions. A hundred percent of our onions are California grown. Good. Yep. And they smell it too. Yep, that's right. Now the other thing you said, get ready to cry. That's right. If you're cutting your own onions, it's a cry and shame. <laughs> that's their logo. That's, that's their right. slogan. And you said, I'm going to end up smelling like an onion before this day is over. And that's right. When we take you through the process, you're going to walk out of there smelling like an onion because the onions permeate the skin. So the onion smell stays with you. That's right. Can you wash it off? Does it just have to wear out? How do you get, you have to have your clothes In the clean? You have to clean your clothes and you have to take a shower to get rid of it. <laughs> so we're going to remember this day for a long time. Till the end of the day, till you take a shower. We're excited about this day. The first part of this adventure, we're, it's very traditional. We're going to be following the traditional route these onions take when they're being processed for human consumption for those of us in California and I guess all over the United States to eat, right? That's right. They are transported all over the nation and into Canada as well. So we're going to be watching how they're sliced and diced and processed. That's right. We're going to, yep. And then the second half of the adventure, and don't give it away, don't tell everybody what it is, we're going to be following these onions to see something very new and interesting and innovative that's being done with these onions to help keep California green. This land is your land and this land is my land from the California to the New York Island. Okay, the onion tour begins and it begins with a surprise. Let me give it away right here. Look at this. Antonio is dressed. You look like you're ready to go skiing. That's amazing. Nice to meet you. Are you warm? You keep it warm? Yeah. Go yeah. on. Start. Get back to work. You have to keep moving to keep warm. You didn't tell me about this. We're inside the processing part of the plant. And how cold is it in here? We keep it at 36 degrees. 36 degrees year round. At all times to keep the temperature of the onions at. Now why is that? Uh, to keep the quality of the onion. To ensure the quality of the onion. One of the See I had no idea that onions had to be keep had to be kept that cool. For the, to extend the shelf life of the onions, yes. Your glasses are fogging up. I know. <laughs> This is amazing. It's really cold in here. I guess the workers get used to this during the year, don't they? What, can you say that again? You can't. It's loud, too. I, the workers get used to this cold. They do. They're dressed appropriately, but also they have to acclimate to their eyes watering. So every day, it takes them about 15 minutes to acclimate. 
because it definitely smells in here as well. And it, yes, and it makes your, and the, the effects of the sulfur with your eyes make you cry. See, this is amazing. Uh, we've, we've toured a lot of plants uh -huh. uh, over the years in California. I've never been hit with this much stimuli immediately. The cold, the smell, the noise, all of it comes together in the processing of onion. That's right. Yep. It, it's, it's really uh, tough to get used to. I'm glad I, you know, it, they work really hard. It's, it's hard to be in this temperature. All right, like we're in the main room. We're now gonna start where the onions come in, right? Step number one. Yep. Come on, let's go. Here come the onions. And Nikki, we missed the first process because it's so loud in that other room that we literally can't function in there. What happens in the other room? Well, when the onions first come in, they are topped and then they're tailed and scored and then there's air that blows off the outer skin. So, so the air compressor is that makes it so loud and impossible. There's an air, air compressor in there. We're gonna show some pictures of what's happening in there, but we couldn't do the interview in there. That's where the onions come in out of those big bins and are actually blown so that the outer part of the onion falls away and you get down to the core of the onion here. Right, we lose about 25% of the onions in the initial top and tailing process. So wait a minute, you lose 25% of the onions in that process. Right, and then we lose an additional 20% uh, here at the inspection line where we get down to the, the quality of the onion that we really want. All right, now what's happening here? This is the inspection inspection line, what's happening here? They're looking for any other imperfections in the onion um, that wouldn't be acceptable for our what, is, what do you mean imperfection? Uh, bruising, um, some rot, decay, anything that uh, didn't get taken care of in the first room. Can I pick up one onion as uh, long as I don't put it back? Right, yes, you can pick up one onion. it smells, really smells like an onion. Once you slice them, right. that's when they start to smell. Right. That's that, when that's you start when... to cry. Exactly. Now this looks like a great, healthy, clean California onion to me. And that's exactly what it is. All right, so it's passed through the inspection line. Right. These ladies spend all day here looking at all these onions. And then it goes on to the next step we're going to leave this room and go back into the cold room. It doesn't seem like it's 36 in here to me. It seems a little warmer. Right, it could be, but we like to keep it at a temperature of 36 degrees. Yeah, I guess I'm just getting used to the cold weather. We're leaving this room and going out into the big room. We're following the California onions. Now we've positioned ourselves right under a blower. It's freezing right now. It's freezing. It's cold. What are we looking at now? They're obviously slicing and dicing. Right here we're looking at the dicing process. The whole peels go into the dicer. They come out dice, and then they go through a chlorinated flume to keep the bacteria from growing. And then from there they go into the dryer and it, the, the shaker dries them off before they are taken up an escalator and weighed and packed in five pound bags. An onion escalator. That's right. Now where do these onions end up? Uh, they can end up in restaurants, they can end up in salsas, pasta sauces, they can end up at the retail level. Well, I just never knew that, that cold, that the temperature was so important. I can, I can see my breath. Yep. 33 crazy. degrees, I know it's freezing. Well, look at this, Kevin. We're standing under a floor, a big fan that's coming down on us. It's a, actually, it's a really sophisticated, sophisticated ventilation process to keep the fumes from staying in here. We don't have to be standing right here. No, we don't. But to get a good eye view of, of what's going on, you do. Wow, look at this. This is a huge operation all the way out here. Look at all this water. It just goes on and on. This is very technical and very interesting and very cold. 
Now this is very interesting. There's a guy down at the end sticking whole onions into little, uh, what are those little things he's sticking them in? Well, he's just sticking in, to, I, I don't know what you call them, but it's just part of the um, process where he has to place them so that they're evenly sliced when they come out. So he puts them in whole, and they get sliced, and then they come out on this belt. So right. we've watched them being diced at the other end of the room. Now we're watching them being sliced. Look at this whole room over here, full of people slicing onions. And look right over here, she's weighing these things out. Yep, these are five pound deli containers. So these are going to the deli for either sandwiches or hamburgers, fast food chains and restaurants. Wow, look at this. I know we're not allowed to touch anything. Nope. It's all very sanitary in very, here. Yes. Uh -huh. But these right here are going to the deli. That's right. They're all sliced and ready to go. Look at this, Nikki. The onions are one color over there. They're another color over here. Yeah, we have uh, different onions for different uses. Some of these onions are going to be going to uh, fast food chains for onion rings. So ah. Yes, different I've never colors. Had thought about all the different colors, shapes, sizes. And different parts of the onions people want. People just want certain parts. The inner parts or the outer parts. A, a certain the core cut, a or cut. the ring. Exactly. Wow. Look at all this. This is like an amazing the amount of energy in here. Turn around here, Cameron, and look over here. This whole room is just full of energy. As far as you can see, onions. Ha! Okay, our onion adventure continues. We have come outside the processing plant, and I gotta tell you, Nikki, as much fun as much as I learned inside, I'm glad to be out in the sunshine. It was cold and noisy in there. I am just as happy to be out of there too, Hugh. But we both still smell. Right, until you take a shower, you're gonna carry the you're smell. You're tearing up a little bit. Yeah. I was tearing up a little bit myself. That's right. But now we get down to the green part of this adventure, and this is very, very interesting. First question. You told us inside that you lose up to 50% of the weight of the onion when the outside layers are blown away, when it's cleaned up, and when you lose the top and the bottom of the onion. Is that right? That's right. Up we, to 50%. About 40%, about 45%, yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, in the past, what would have happened to all that 45% that of the onion that was lost inside? Well, that 45% of each onion translates into about 300,000 pounds of onion waste a day. A day? A day, right. So what we would do is we'd take the onion waste and we'd sling it out into the fields that we farm and we'd disc it under. So we had truckloads after truckloads hauling the waste out to the field. Old discarded part of the onion that you couldn't use, you would just mix it in with the soil on your land. Was, did it act as fertilizer? Was there an upside, a downside? How did that work? There was nothing but downside to it. Uh, we just had nowhere else to take it. So it cost us a tremendous amount of money, about $400,000 a year, in labor and fuel and liabilities to take and haul this waste out to the field. And it would create pests 